Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can send out email notifications to the people on your LearnDash platform. And these might be for things like emails where you welcome people onto courses or congratulate them for completing courses or other actions that they might do on your platform that you want to send out an email to them about. Now, LearnDash doesn't have this built into its normal basic installation, but they do have an add-on which is free and you can install on your platform to send out various notifications based on certain actions. So I'm logged in as an administrator here and I'm just going to go to the dashboard and then hover over LearnDash LMS and go down to add-ons. And this is where you would normally install add-ons and we've done a couple of other videos where we've shown different add-ons here like the integrity add-on but the one we're looking for here is this one here called learn dash notifications and it says send email notifications based on learn dash actions so let's get that installed we'll just click on this icon here and you can see that that's now installing on our learn dash platform and once that's done it will appear up here at the top under the installed add-ons and all we need to do is click this plug icon here to activate it. Once it's activated we'll refresh the page because what happens is it adds this new notifications option under your Learn Dash menu. So let's go ahead and click into that and we can see that this is where we create our notifications. So let's create a few of these. So we'll create some of the um, kind of notifications that you've been most likely to see on any type of course. One of these might be a welcome to the course, so just a simple email that you send out to people when they register onto a course. And what you do is add the title in this top box here and the body of content of the email in this box below it. So we'll say here, welcome to the course. And Below here, we'll say something like, hi, welcome to the, and I'll show you how we change this shortly, but also welcome to the X course. It's great to have you here. If you have any questions, please get in touch. So a simple email there. And what we can do is personalize this email to the people it's being sent to by using these available shortcodes. But first we need to set what type of trigger would send this email. And there were quite a few available. So you can send out emails at these actions. So whenever someone enrolls into a group, enrolls onto a course, completes a lesson, passes a quiz, fails a quiz, there's lots of different triggers that would, would send out emails if you wanted to. So, you know, if, if you wanted to follow up with someone if they failed a quiz by email, then you could create, you know, choose that one. If they haven't logged in for a certain number of days, then there's an, auth yeah, an email here that would uh, send a nudge to say, please log in and carry on your course. As well as emails a number of days before their course expires. So there's lots of uh, different options you can do with this, with this add-on. The one I'm going to look at here is when a user enrolls onto a course. So I'm sending this welcome to the course email at the point they enroll. And we can choose either specific courses that we want this to apply to or just choose any course. And I'm going to choose any course there. We can also choose who the email gets sent to. So you might want to send it to a user. Yeah, this is probably mo most likely the person who's enrolling onto the course. But if you also wanted to notify potentially their group leader or an admin, you can tick these two, as well as even adding a, an email address here for um, someone completely irrelevant that you might want to copy into uh, any emails that get sent out. You can delay emails. We'll have a look at that one shortly. But the thing I wanted to show here is that there's these short codes that you can use in your emails to personalize it. So what we can do is copy out the one here that says maybe display user's first name and we copy the bits here between the square brackets 
and then just paste that in. And what that will do is say hi and then show the user's first name. So that's now a personalized email. And where we've got here, welcome to the X course. I'm just going to scroll down and say this one here, which says displays the course title. So that will display the course title relevant to the course that they have enrolled onto and are receiving this email about. So we've got a basic email layer, which will be sent to anyone who is enrolled onto any course, which will say hi, and then their name, and then welcome to the course, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just click publish now, and we can now use that email. It will be live, and anyone who gets enrolled onto a course uh, would, would see that. So then I'll add a couple more um, so that we can then see how those work. I'm going to create one now, which is when they complete the course. So I'll just say congratulations on completing your course. And then I'll do something similar. Hi X, well done on completing your course. Your certificate is in the post, something, something like that. Um, and I might just add the course title in there as well. So I'm going to scroll down and in this case, I want to do this uh, triggered when the user completes a course. And I'll say any course, but I could also specify certain courses if I wanted to. I'm going to send that to the user. And I, what I want to do is just add in those uh, short codes again. So I'll show the user's first name. And I'll show the course title. Down here, you can actually see that the, you can include a few more bits of information in this email, such as points they've scored and um, you know, different bits of information that are relevant to the course that they have completed. So we've got that now being sent when they complete the course. Now what I want to do is show you how this delay feature works by creating a new notification. And what I'm going to do with this one is ask a user for feedback a certain time after they've completed their course. And this is something that people don't do enough, capture feedback about the courses. So you might say, we'd like to hear your thoughts. Hi X, you recently completed the X course. We'd like your feedback, please click on this link to complete a survey. Thanks. And then just put a uh, yeah, link there. Um, so it's, it's not a proper survey that, that but you could, you could link that to a survey and, and capture feedback on your courses this way. Again, we're just going to populate those. Well, actually first I'll, I'll choose uh, when they complete the course and I'm going to populate these um, short codes again just quickly um, so that we've got that in there. We've got course title there. So what we want to do is send this after they complete their course. Maybe, you know, say seven days after you could do this. So they would complete their course and then seven days after they would receive this email which asked them for feedback. To show this as part of this video, I'm just going to change that to one minute. So what will happen is they'll get the email when they complete the course, but then one minute later, they'll also receive an email when um, you're asking for this feedback. So I'll just publish that now. And we now have three notifications uh, ready to be sent out um, at certain points of a course. And what I'm going to do shortly is log in as a learner or enroll a learner onto a course and we can see what notifications come through to them. Before we do that, I'm just going to show you a couple of things here. So you can get a status of how many emails have been, are being queued to be sent out and when it was last run. So what happens is 
This uses a system called WordPress cron and every so often it will send out emails in batches. So uh, this will just highlight any that are queued to be sent and when it was run and potentially any issues that you might have here. And you've also got some logs which will be populated shortly and they just show what emails have been sent out. So firstly what I'm going to do is head to a, a user that I've created here called John Smith and I'm going to firstly enroll them onto a course. And what should happen is that John Smith now should receive an email saying welcome to the course. So let's just switch to John Smith's email inbox. So I'm logged in in a different tab here as John Smith. And um, we can see we've got that here, welcome to the course. And it says, hi John, welcome to the Seek Health with Yoga Sadhana course. It's great to have you here. And it's the content that I added, added in the email. But you can see here that it's populated their first name and the title of the course they were added to. So let's just whiz through that course now and we will hopefully get the completion email when they finish it. So this doesn't have anything in it, it's just a you know basic dummy course that I'm just going to mark complete of everything. And when that's done, we've completed that now, so we've got 100% completion. If I go back to this inbox, we can see now we've got this, congratulations on completing your course. So it says, hi John, well done on completing your Seek Health course, your certificate's in the post. So that's another email that we've got there set up. And in theory, uh, after a while, what should happen, yeah, after one minute, um, this person should receive another email asking for feedback. So let's just uh, click around the course a little bit while that comes through. In fact, what I would do just while we're waiting is head back to the admin area and then back to Learn-LMS and then Notifications and then look at the logs here where we can see what has been sent out. So we can see one email was sent out to this user at the point they enrolled onto the course and one when they completed the course. And... Um, Hopefully at some point, yeah, we can see that's happened now. So this second email has now been sent, which we can see in the logs, and it was sent a minute after they completed the course, as you can see there. And if I switch back to this user now, we will head to the uh, inbox here where we've got this new email, and we can see that we've got an, uh, a link here to complete the survey for this course, and this came shortly after completing the course. So here we find that useful. These sort of notifications can really help um, guide people through your courses and uh, you know, just make the course feel a lot more personalized and um, that, like the, the user is receiving some great support as they're going through it. So we hope you find it useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.